Thank you, Mr. Ross, to joining us and accepting our invitation for Mr. Shahwal Shahpare uh, Gala. Um, I just wanted to ask you two questions before you join the main hall. Uh, the first one is, what is the role of technology, especially this year, um, to promote and extend <laughs> multiculture worldwide, especially in the market? What do you think as a politician person? Um, I think it's a wonderful uh, tool for communications, for sharing, uh, especially during COVID times when everybody is working from home. Uh, the only way we can be productive uh, is via uh, technology. Uh, Zoom meetings uh, permit us to continue to administer the services to our citizens by being able to communicate, by sending photos uh, to each other, by texting, by emails. I mean, if we didn't have this technology today, uh, we wouldn't be able to survive. We wouldn't be able to manage. And so it is of extreme importance. And you know, when I sometimes speak with young people and I say, what do you want to study? What do you want to be? Oh, I'm going to computer technology. And I say, wonderful, because today, that is what is in need. This is what we need. We need specialized, uh, you know, internet uh, savvy computer knowledge so that, I mean, I'm not computer savvy. I need somebody to lead me. Once I'm in, nothing can stop me. Once I, it's explained to me, I continue. Uh, but not everybody, it, it's, not, it's not easy. And when you're not aware of how to go about things, you're lost. And so we definitely need more people to go into more of our youth to go into this technology, this uh, uh, IT uh, knowledge so that they can help us who are not so savvy to be able to function. And uh, more today than ever because of COVID isolating us. I mean, look, today it's Saturday evening. I'm in my office and I've been here basically all afternoon. I just left a Chinese event uh, that's taking place across Canada also. And uh, here I am now with the Persian community. I mean, otherwise what I used to do in the past Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I would go from one event to another. So I would drive myself to one, drive myself to the other. And I mean, it was natural for me to go to three, four events sometimes in one evening. Now I simply stay in my office, click from one to the other. And so absolutely today, it plays an important role in our lives to be able to function, to communicate, and you don't have to travel. We save on gas and our, you know, our um, atmosphere is a lot cleaner because of that. Yeah, you answer my next question, but I'm going to ask you as well. As you know that gala is really expensive and there is a limitation of guests. So worldwide, it's not possible that everybody can attend it. So what is your idea about uh, Persian Awards? It's the first time that it's just creating per, uh, virtual red carpet for Persian community. What is your idea about doing this? Just no boundary so everybody can attend. I am in, you are in Montreal, I am in Vancouver, and the uh, Shahbal is in LA. So what, what do you think about this event? I think it's wonderful that the organizers have taken the time with their volunteers, with their employees to put such an enormous uh, show together from all over the place. Uh, you know, it's also being safe for not uh, traveling, we are staying home, we're watching it at the comfort of our homes. Um, but it is the safest way to be able to get everybody to participate, the bringing together of uh, your community and the visitors uh, to showcase the best talents that the Persian community has worldwide all on a screen. It's beautiful and it is not easy. The coordination takes time. Uh, it takes a lot of effort to be able to well orchestrate the different uh, 
shows the different uh, talents that you have and to make it accessible to us, your, your audience. All I can say is congratulations to the whole team for organizing such a, a wonderful event. But best of all is that you've taken the time to encourage and to showcase the finest of your talents within the community. Thank you so much, Greg. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation. And uh, you, you will be in main hall and you can have a speech over there as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.